2019 Ram 1500 vs Chevy Silverado 1500 vs 2018 Ford F-150 How they compare? The 2018 Detroit Auto Show could almost be renamed the Detroit Truck Show for all the big reveals on the floor. All the 2019 Ram 1500 and the 2019 Chevy Silverado specifications have not yet been revealed, but we can compare their weight, engines, transmissions, and off-road versions to the current 2018 Ford F-150. Stay tuned for a more in-depth comparison of statistics as more information becomes available. Weight Savings both the 2019 Ram 1500 and 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 have gone on a diet for the new model year, similar to the one the F-150 went on in 2015. The Silverado is the weight loss leader, having shed 450 pounds when comparing quad cav V8 models. The Ram 1500 lost 225 pounds compared to the current truck. Both trucks achieve their weight loss in part due to the use of aluminum parts. On the Silverado, the hood, doors, and tailgate are aluminum, while on the Ram, just the hood and tailgate are aluminum on the body. Compare that to the F-150, which uses aluminum for all exterior body panels for a total weight loss of up to 732 pounds, which makes the aluminum-intensive F-150 the weight loss leader. Engines and Transmissions there's only a bit of overlap in powertrains on the Ram 1500 and Chevy Silverado. Each has a V8 for the top engine. The Ram's is a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 making 395 horsepower and 410 pound-feet of torque. The Silverado will once again use a 6.2-liter V8. Though Chevy hasn't revealed specs on the engine, we imagine it will be close to the current model's 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. While the Chevy makes more power and torque, the Ram's V8 boasts an optional 48 volt mild hybrid system that can provide up to 130 pound-feet of torque right off the line. While the F-150 still offers a 5.0-liter V8, the real range-topping engine is a 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6. That engine makes 375 horsepower and tops the three trucks with 470 pound-feet of torque. The Ram and Chevy powertrains diverge with the lower-end gas engines. Ram offers a 3.6-liter V6 making 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque, and it comes standard with the 48-volt hybrid system, though in that application it only produces up to 90 pound-feet. Chevy has not announced a gasoline V6 for the new Silverado yet meaning the low-end gas engine for it is a 5.3-liter V8. Output hasn't been given, but the 5.3-liter engine in the current model produces 355 horsepower and 383 pound-feet of torque, and we don't expect that to change much. Below the F-150's 3.5-liter rests the 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6. That engine makes 325 horsepower and 400 pound-feet of torque. Diesels are a bit of a mystery for these two trucks. Chevrolet announced it would offer a 3.0-liter inline-six diesel, and gave no details other than it will outperform the competition. Ford's Power Stroke 3.0-liter makes 250 horsepower and 440 pound-feet of torque, so expect the Chevy engine to be in that ballpark. Ram says that the Eco Diesel 3.0-liter V6 will return, but no details were given. The current model makes 240 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, so the new version will probably be close. Ford just announced the F-150 will get a 3.0-liter V6 turbo diesel. Finally, all Rams will use 8-speed automatics, with a different one for V6 than for V8. The Silverado will get a 10-speed automatic with the 6.2-liter V8 and the diesel. Though no transmission was announced for the 5.3-liter V8, the current model uses an 8-speed automatic, so we would expect the same for the new one. Like the Silverado, the F-150 uses a 10-speed automatic. In fact, the transmissions are nearly the same, thanks to a development partnership between GM and Ford.